In this tutorial, we're going to look at one of several different ways that you can prevent the scrolling long screen on your Moodle homepage by organizing it in sections. And what you have right here is just merely what the students would see in the topic outline section, just a welcome information, and it says use the links at the right to navigate this Moodle site. And as the students look over to the right, they will see three links online books, assignments, and worksheets. By clicking on one of them, the student is taken to that section and that section only. They don't have to scroll. If the student needs an assignment, they click on that option and that topic area or that section appears. And the same for worksheets. I'm going to now turn editing on so you can see what this looks like. Although I'm still only seeing topic section number four, over to the right hand side of this topic section is a little square box, a little rectangular area. When I move my mouse, it says show all topics. After clicking on it, all the topics are listed and you can see them here. And you can of course click that little square and it will show only topic two. And basically that is what we've done is we've shown only this topic and if you look up at the web address bar, I'm going to highlight and copy that address so I can use it a little bit later. But notice at the very end of the address it says topic equal to. Every topic section, topic section two or three or four are all the same. Notice they say topic equal and then just the number changes at the end. And worksheets is the same way. Topic equal four. So how do you make this little sidebar of links? Well you do it by adding an HTML block. So in the add drop down box I will select HTML and then you'll notice it says new HTML block. So I will hit the configuration or the edit update button and I will just type online books, assignments, and you know what? If I don't want that extra line up there, I just want to hold down the shift key when I hit enter. I'll hold down the shift key right here when I hit enter so I don't get that extra line there. And worksheets. And I actually cannot remember which one I had, so I am going to highlight online books and I will paste, right click and paste and that says topic two and I believe that was the correct one for online books and I will insert and I'll highlight assignments, put the link in, right click and paste and instead of topic two that was topic three so all I had to do was delete the two and type in a three and I'll do the same for worksheets. I will right click and paste and change that one to topic four. And something didn't work right there, did it? And that was topic three. We'll do that again. Okay, now they look like they're all linked and I will save the changes. And now I have two sets of links here, but they will work if I have the topic numbers right, online books appears, assignments appears, and worksheets appears. So you can create this, let me turn editing off, so you can create an HTML block that lists the link to only that topic area and none of the other topic areas will show. And to get to the other ones then, you just click those in the bar over to the side. So that helps students a little bit from having to scroll so much. You can have your major items over here to the side. And it's very simple if you have your content sections, your topic sections in nice grouped ways so that you could um, make a link to those items, categorize them as books or assignments or worksheets or quizzes or whatever it might be that you have. That's one way of stopping all the scrolling.